Let's talk about realtors. There's some really great realtors like Joe Dunn right here. This is Joe. Um, realtors, um, do you need a realtor on a residential property? I've never sold a property in my life, and I know, Kev, you have a lot of properties. I never used a full price realtor, never did. It was easy. I've advised my clients. You know, there's that one, two percent. They put you on MLS. They will do the closing for you. I had a client just sell a $2 million property. And I told her, I said, listen, here's what we'll do. I can set you up with a discount realtor. We'll get you on MLS. The market was hot. This was several years ago. And if that doesn't work, she goes, well, I, I don't know how to do it. I said, well, they put you on MLS and they actually will answer the phones for you. They'll actually do most of the work, but my team will help you. Well, her good friend was a realtor. Her good friend talked her into, talked her into, oh, you know, I've known you for 20 years and, and worked with me. Well, she did sell the house for 1.8 million and she, her commission was 6%. You know, 6% of $2 million is a nice paycheck. It's a nice paycheck. So I kind of said to her friend, she goes, well, Teresa wants me to call you. It's kind of interesting. I had a client want to sell a townhome. She comes into my office and she goes, well, my realtor wants to sell the townhome for like 420. I had Vince, I said, do me a favor, Vince. While the, while the client was in my office, Vince went in his office and he did, a, he did comps of what sold over the last six months. I, I told my, and, and Vince walks into my office, he shows me the comps are at 550. She said, her is better than the ones it sold. I said, your realtor's under, she's under, under price in this thing. Oh, well, that's what she recommended. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying all realtors are like this, but why would a realtor underprice a property? To move it, to move it. If I can move 10 properties in a week, that's better than moving one. So all I'm trying to say at the beginning of this is how to pick a realtor. Look at their Google reviews. Look at, I don't know. I mean, I get it. You don't want to deal with it. You're not an expert. It's not rocket science, and that's why you guys have me. That's why I am a full-service financial firm. I can help you with stuff like that. A lot, of you, a lot of the people in this room I know I've done financial plans for, complete financial plans. Let, let you know. In fact, I think we got one coming up. Don't we got to do one for you? Uh, yeah, I got to get stamped. Yeah, okay, I thought so. Yeah, just, just looking about that. So whether it's independent living, you know, my average client, Mal, what did we say our average client age was? 82 years old. A lot of my clients are selling their homes. A lot of my clients are moving into independent living. What's a good place? Well, I have a lot of clients that they tell me, oh, Dom, I, I'm into this golden property. I love it. I'm over this property. I hate it. Okay, good. That's good information. So use me as a backstop to say, Dom, what, have, what do you know about this retirement center? Insurance is long-term care. Do you need it? Do you need whole life? Absolutely not. Attorneys, we talked about taxes. Now, I'm not a tax attorney. Uh, excuse me, I'm not a tax expert. I am not. I hate taxes. I have a bookkeeper and I have a, an accountant. I just sign stuff. But I learned stuff over 35 years and I'll give you a good, I'll give you a good example. A good example is client recently passed and that's happening too much lately. And it's, I don't know, COVID or the vaccine, I don't know what's going on, but the client passed, the kids come in, they're sitting in my office and she says to me, well, we're going to rent out my parents' house until my mom passes. Mom's in a, a nursing home. She has dementia. And she says, um, then we're going to, we don't really want to rent it out, but we're going to rent it out. And then when mom dies, we're going to, we're going to uh, sell it. I go, I, I need to understand that. What, what did your mom and dad pay? And they said, well, we paid 20, they paid 20,000. And what's it worth today? I said, a million. And your dad just passed. I said, let me ask you the next question. How is the property labeled? She said it was labeled joint. I said, okay. Um, in other words, uh, they both had a trust, so it was uh, joint tenants in common. So anyway, uh, each trust. So I said, there's no tax. And there's no tax due. And she goes, what do you mean? There's tax. I go, no, there's not. I said, let me tell you why. When your dad died, you got a half stepped up in basis, and then you get the 250 exclusion that lasts 24 months after death. So, you know, everybody on their primary residence gets $250,000 and a, a husband and wife. So when I sell my home in the mountains, I'm going to have to find me a, um, a Russian bride. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but <laughs> save my $250,000, you know. 
So anyway, the, the point being is, so I said, so let's do the math. Dad died, uh, the basis on half the property is 500, and then you still get the 250 exclusion for you and your husband. Well, I was talking to the daughter. So that's a million dollars, so there's no tax. She goes, oh, that's wonderful. Looks at her husband and goes, let's put the house on the market. Well, I get a call. I get a call like a week later, and the, and, and the husband says to me, oh, I talked to my accountant. You're not right. I go, you know, I'm not an accountant, uh, but I know, I know a little about a lot, and I, I don't think I'm wrong. So I call. I, I have a lot of accountants that I work with. I call one of my accountants that I, I work with, and I said, I said, Vicki, am I wrong on this? And she goes, oh, you don't get both. So I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. I don't understand that. Well, anyway, she calls me back the next day, and she says to me, Dom, I was up all night. I couldn't sleep. I got up. I looked, and you're right. <laughs> so now she tells me I have to go amend some of my tax returns. And one of them is my client. So I let my client know, I got some good news for you. You're going to get some money back. But it just goes to show you, the point I'm trying to make, guys, is use us as a resource, whether it's selling or buying a home, whether it's, uh, whether it's a nursing home, God forbid, whether it's just buying a, buying a car. You know, you, you know, what should I do? Who should I use? You know, do I use uh, Slick Willie down the road that's selling used cars? So that's what we're here for. I just wanted to bring that up. So any questions about that? Anything about the world? It's all in your booklet. Uh, the easiest thing is just to pick up the phone, and I think that's a good thing to do. Just give us a call.